Biology is implemented by organic chemistry, and the molecules it uses are encoded into the organism's DNA. So this molecule on the screen here is a ribosome molecule, and each one of these little knobs represents an atom. And so it has thousands of atoms all aligned very closely to create a molecule that has a very specific function, one that, that catalyzes, in this case, the um, translation of a messenger RNA into a protein. So this is what makes the proteins that then make up the enzymes, like the ribosome itself. So the recipe is written uh, within DNA, and somehow we have to get from the uh, spiral nucleic acids represented by the DNA all the way to an enzyme. And so the first thing that happens is that there is another enzyme that attaches to a gene on the DNA. And there's a start codon on the gene, and there'll be some distance until you get to a stop codon. And they're just basically uh, signals in, in the DNA itself. And this uh, enzyme basically moves along the DNA. And as it moves along the DNA, it creates what we call a messenger RNA molecule, or mRNA. So eventually, the uh, enzyme, basically, we call this part um, transcribes. the DNA creating this messenger RNA. And the difference between DNA and RNA, they both are composed of nucleic acids that, that code for um, specific things. The DNA is a very stable version, and the messenger RNA is a reactive version. So what um, we go from is the stable recipe that is really good for reducing mutations and for saving uh, the information on how to create the molecules necessary for cells from one organism down to the next. The messenger RNA is quite reactive and it doesn't actually um, last particularly long um, in the cell. So eventually, the, once the um, enzyme here gets to this, the stop codon, the messenger RNA is created, and, then and that messenger RNA floats, floats away from the site. Okay. So eventually, that messenger RNA reaches my version of the ribosome. And we have a second type of RNA um, that actually uh, consists of a little molecule with an amino acid on the end and three little codes. So the DNA and the RNA um, are composed of nucleic acids that represent three different letters. And as the messenger RNA goes into the ribosome, the ribosome captures these transport or T RNA molecules. It basically matches the 
um, tRNA types with different amino acids on each one to the three letters in the messenger RNA. And for each three letters in the messenger RNA, a, um, another amino acid is added. I'm going to change my amino acids to being red so they show up. So what happens is the, the um, so what happens is that the, the tRNA brings in the amino acid, it matches it to the RNA, and it adds that amino acid to the next chain. Right, so, so we get this uh, protein. That protein that it consists of the, the recipe, uh, the translated recipe, and it will actually start folding uh, depending on the charge and the stiffness and it will actually create an enzyme. Right. So there, there are lots of things that actually happen in this process and uh, lots of names of molecules because each one of these of course has a name. But the key, the key parts that I want um, uh, you to remember here is that we go from the DNA which is inherited uh, from uh, parent to offspring. The DNA is translated into messenger RNA. And then the messenger RNA is translated into the proteins that make up the enzymes. And then the enzymes perform uh, different types of functions um, in the cell. So this is how we go from basically the memory to the function.